Hello, hello my lovely friends and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm super excited to share these with you. We are doing a flip through of my latest Siamese cat <laughs> journals. I have to be honest, I don't know exactly what possessed me to do this, except, you know, this sort of obvious... <laughs> There's Lucy. Um, I just got it in my head that I wanted to create these Siamese cat journals. I made three of them. Now, my usual trick is that the insides are all the same, the covers are different. Um, so, I had uh, a really great response to the cat journals that I had done, um, God, that feels like eons ago, time, time, <laughs> time needs to slow down. Um, where are we? It's April. Oh my God. When did I do them? I guess in the winter time. <laughs> I'm telling you, some days I'm like, who am I? Where am I? Some days I still think it's February. It's very strange. Very strange. Anyways, I was very encouraged, I have to admit, by the response to the cat journals. And so I got it in my mind that I wanted to do... Um, something specific to Siamese cats and so I just decided before I start in on Halloween stuff because we are almost halfway to Halloween my friends and I am going to start Halloween working on Halloween art and I'm going to start printing out stuff for Halloween journals this month actually probably this weekend so um this, of course, made me think, oh, I'm going to do black cat stuff for Halloween. I, I, I'm pretty sure I'm going to do specific black cat journals for Halloween. I always do black cats and witches, but I may just do just black cats. I'm not sure. <laughs> Who am I kidding? We both know I'm going to do black cat journals for Halloween. Anyhow. I'm excited to share these with you, even if you're not a Siamese cat fan, if you're a fan of kitties, I still think that you will enjoy this flip through. Um, these are 12 by 6. I color coordinated them. I'll, I'm going to turn the camera around in a minute and I'll go through sort of my my thought process on how I got I got from point A to point B. But the more that I work in my journal that is this size, I really do like having this extra length. Um, especially when I'm working on like the happy mail and the things like that. It just, it's nice to have that little bit of extra space. Um, but anyways, single signatures and I of course filled it up to the brim. I mean, I could just glue in these things all day, but I have to remind myself it's not for me. It's for somebody out there in TV land, and I need to leave them space <laughs> to glue their own things in. Anyways, without any further ado, I was hoping that Sophie might make an appearance, which would just be great because it is a Siamese cat flip through after all, but she's upstairs, I think, staring out the window, trying to see if other neighborhood cats are sitting on her porch. <laughs> But you can't have that. So, okay, without any further ado, let's turn the camera around and we will start the flip through. Okie dokie, everybody. Here we go. Now, I just did three of these journals. I wanted to sort of keep them a little bit as a, you know, sort of limited edition. And as much as I could have made Siamese cat journals till the cows came home, um, I just decided to do three. So the challenge that I sort of gave myself was, I decided that what I wanted to do with these was to only use the colors of the Siamese cats themselves in these journals. So with the exception of a few things, everything in here is either blue, black, brown, or some sort of cream or ivory or taupe color. And it was a really fun challenge. Um, when, I, when I was going through and looking for scrapbook paper to purchase, um, I decided that 
again, I was only picking sort of muted tones or darker tones, and I picked paper that didn't have anything in it except those specific colors. So it was a really fun way of putting a journal together in a way that I hadn't done before, and I think that the, the effect is, is really quite interesting. Now, like I said before, the majority, or sorry, the, the, the size of this is 12 by 6. There are other papers in here that are not as big. Um, I, I like in my journal mixing up the sizes of the papers and the sizes of the pages that go in. So that's what I've done with these because, I, again, I think it's just an interesting, it's visually interesting to have these different sizes of pages as you're flipping through the journal, right? So, um, yeah, let's just get into it and I can explain some of it as we go along. So, it wouldn't be a Siamese cat journal, I don't think, if I didn't include a photo of the girls for you to have. So, of course, we have Sophie and Lucy, and then the two of them together in their little pink... Um, I call them donuts because the, the pillows kind of look like these cute little pink donuts. So we've got that at the front, and then I included, now each journal will be, a, there's a few differences in here, but for the most part, they're all the same. The exception will be, each journal has two um, images of Siamese cats from a page a day calendar that I bought. Um, so these, these images might be different in the other books. In fact, I'm pretty sure they are. But they're so pretty. Um... I think they'll be really fun for, for creating something in a journal. Again, whether it's another page. Obviously, it's not Siamese on the back, but... All kitties are cute in their own way, <laughs> right? So that goes in there. Now, there is... There are 27 full pages in this journal, which means in half there are... 54, 106, 108, <laughs> front and back, because uh, I apparently struggle with doing math in my head. Uh, if you knew how, if you knew how terrible I was at math, <laughs> it would, it would, ah, uh, it's so bad. But anyways, okay, so I am in, I am, pull this down just a wee bit. Okay, there we are, perfect. So, as always, all the tags are printed on cardstock, and they are blank on the back. And so again, you'll notice that all of the, the tags, the tabs, 99% of this is either blue, cream, black, or brown, including the um, ribbon on the paper clips. There's, you know, every once in a while there's a little bit like here on the tuna can, there's a little bit of red, but it really, I have, I, re I enjoyed doing this more than I thought I would in the sense that I thought at the beginning when I was looking for scrapbook paper and things to use in the journal, I was afraid I was going to feel really limited and sort of boxed in, even though I thought this is a really interesting idea. It was a really great challenge to work within certain parameters of colors. So then on this side, we have the three tags. Now, I haven't counted exactly how many tags are in here because I literally just finished these tonight. But there's well over 100, maybe 120 or more tags in total of all sizes. So when I say tag, I mean like, Everything from a big journal tag like this to something small like this, right? So again, these are cardstock that I've printed off and blank on the back for lots and lots and lots and lots of hidden journaling. So this page, this is cardstock. So when I talk about uh, 27 pages, I include the full scrapbook sheets as well as these smaller um, 8 by 11 sheets that I folded in half. So here we just have a C tag for a cat. 
Uh, Captain Obvious, there we go. She always has to make an appearance, right? And then on this side, we have um, a phone, an old page from a, a phone directory book. And of course, S for Siamese goes there. And then a little tag there. And some printed paper here with a little tag. And the back, here's some graph paper from a notebook and a tag. I really did, I have to admit, I did indulge my love of numbers in this journal wherever I could. So we've just got a little clip art face of a kitty there on some numbers. And then here we have, again, printed paper or cardstock rather, on some beautiful, I love this, this cardstock. This came from, um, or sorry, scrapbook paper. This is scrapbook.com. Gorgeous. So, like I said, as I went along, it was a lot of fun to sort of really play with these different tones of creams and beiges and browns. And the more I got into it, the more, I have to say, I really did have just so much fun um, working within the, the, the parameters of this, these colorways, right? So you've got a fussy cut of a kitty here on cardstock. And then this came, this was uh, what I put in the, um, the other kitty cat journals. In ancient times, cats were worshipped as gods. <laughs> they have not forgotten this. No, no, they haven't. More paper from a notebook on there. And of course, you're going to see we've got some mice in here and some fish. So when I say 27... Um, or 54 pages that doesn't include these little sort of tip outs that I've sewn in so really technically I suppose there's more uh, than 54 there's probably 50 60 something in total right but this isn't a full page obviously so it doesn't really get counted um, but I really like this this sort of variety of having the longer page then the shorter page then a smaller page you know, variety, as they say, my friends, is the spice of life. So then here we have cardstock on the tag. And we know cats love milk. Or, I don't know. I, I have to be honest. I haven't lived with any cats that love, love milk. But you always hear these stories about cats and saucers of milk. And then we've got... Here and here in a little tag so again I really like adding in these little tags so you can add them as tabs you know you can do whatever you want with them and on this side we've got again one of these little tabs so I always say in my flip through videos I don't glue a lot down in my journals as a rule because I want to give you whoever gets these journals I want to give you a lot of fun things to work with, but I don't glue a lot in because that way you can glue the things in and put them where you want them to be, how you enjoy journaling, um, how you like to layer. So I say I've curated these things for you, and then it's up to you to take it apart and make it your own or do whatever you want with it. Um, in the sense that I, I could have glued all of this stuff in and I would have had a great time doing it. But I think, well, if I glued this on here, that looks really cute and it's a nice little pull tab, but maybe that's not where you want it, right? So I, I really try and give as much flexibility as I can with these journals because we all journal differently, right? Journaling is one of the more most personal things that we can do uh, creatively and what I want and what I want to see and do in a journal might be the complete opposite of what you want to do right so I just stuck in some lined paper here because of course the lines were beige and I thought that fit in really nicely and then blank tag here and then on this page we've got a bed because we all know where kitties really love to nap, especially in the wintertime. And it's on a nice, cozy, warm bed. So I thought that would be cute. 
And then this is a French dictionary page that I included. I put a few of these in there because, again, they're beige. <laughs> All right? Like, I had to get a little creative about what, where I was getting my beige and brown colors from. So then again, what a greater gift than the love of a cat. Hmm. Yes, yes, yes. And then a little mousy here. Because we all know <laughs> cats and mice, right? And it's kind of funny because that whole of that whole saying, well, while the cat's away, the mice will play. That's what I was thinking of when I put this in here, where the mice are like, okay, <laughs> let's go have some fun, right? And then... I, and I really, I love these color combinations. Like I love this turquoisey blue and the browns. You know, usually I'm not a huge fan of brown, I have to admit. Um, but working and, and putting the, all the blues together with the browns, it was a lot of fun. Lots of hidden journaling. ton of hidden journaling back there. And then yes, I couldn't resist. I did I did glue on some tabs here and here. And then again, we've got some some bigger tabs again wherever you want to something like this. You could put um a little bit of glue or two-way tape at the on the bottom there, and then that could become just a tiny little bit of a a tuck spot or a way to hold some paper down. But again, depending on what you're putting in and what and where, I didn't want to glue that down. So here we have a page from a Belarus... What is it when it's from Belarus? Belarusian? I'll have to look that up. I remember saying this in the other, uh, other video that I did. But anyways, it's a dictionary page from a dictionary. Captain Obvious. <laughs> from Belarus. And then there we have the tag there, and that just gets tucked up in there. And then here, again, I printed gr graph paper and dots on the backs of these pages here. And then we've got blank cardstock, another kitty cat tag with a number, because I have no self-control over numbers, and a teeny tiny little tuna can. Are you kidding me? <laughs> no, I'm not. Okay, tag there. We've got a little tag here. And then I found this kitty cat paper on Amazon. So I included, oop, I included um, a few of these in here. It's a little bit glossy. It's quite smooth. I have to say it's got sort of a silky finish on it. It's quite lovely. Soft, like a Siamese kitty, right? Where is my... Hmm. What did I, oh, here. Okay. So that went like that. This is this is cardstock. Um, this is quite. This is like a sixty-five pound. Uh, this paper is um, scrapbook.com. Lovely. I love these polka dots. The blues of here and these browns was totally rocking my world. Again, another little tag. And then, oh, I had this uh, blue graph paper. Again, I was getting creative about where I was getting my blues and browns from. So that just gets tucked up in there. Little tag there. Some really nice thick scrapbook paper there. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Be careful. She's watching. Oh, I did do a, um, uh, oh my god, I'm sometimes, I'm so bad at this sometimes. I did do a Siamese cat digital ephemera pack that I will show you at the end of this video. Um, this made me, made me think of it. Sorry. <laughs> ah, some days my brain, I'm telling you, I've, I've, I don't know if my head wasn't attached. So then... Little tab here. So yeah, this could totally be a great way of just tucking something in underneath. It's surprising how much that will hold. So this is cardstock here. 
And then here we have a little one and a half inch tab. And then we got some striped paper. And you will notice a recurring theme of the number nine, for obvious reasons, because cats and their nine lives. So two plus seven. That kind of math I can do. <laughs> and then we've got ar around this page, we've got our fish here with the kitty eyeballing the goldfish. And then this is printed paper. This one isn't cardstock. This one is paper. How pretty is that? And so then I just wrap that around there. Stay safe, little goldfish. Stay safe. <laughs> and then we got a tiny little kitten. How cute. Here. And then on this again, we've got cardstock here. And I call these wraparound pages because they wrap around. And, yeah, then card here, super cute. Grumpy pants on this side here, blank. And again, it's not a cat journal without some tuna in there. Graph paper here. The girls love tuna, I have to say. They can hear that can opener. Oh, I should have put a can opener in here. <laughs> I just thought of that. I was going to say, it's not as... It, it, Stella used to hear a can opener, like, from four miles away. I used to... If I had to open up something that wasn't... I didn't want her to know if I was using the can opener, I would go into the bathroom and shut the bathroom door. She could have been outside a block away, and if I was doing that can opener in the bathroom, <laughs> like, just opening up, you know, soup or a can of tomatoes or something... Sure enough, Stella would be right there wanting to absolutely make sure that I wasn't opening up tuna without her. The girls are not so bad, but yeah, I should have put a can opener in here. Hmm, I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to make an adjustment. Okay, cardstock. Cardstock. Here we have a lovely tuna fish again being watched very closely by the girls here. So then we just have cardstock and a little tiny or a little tab. And on these, I decided I left on a lot of these, I left the white around them. In case you like the look of the white, then you can keep it. If you don't like the look of the white, of course, then you could cut it down and get rid of it. Again, I, I really tried to be um, mindful of leaving as many options as I can or as you know within reason with these journals so that you can really tailor it and and you know what some days I really like the look of the white around the the black here and some days I don't just depends on my mood so that's why I left it and there's a few other fussy cuts again this is why I don't fussy cut all the way around where I leave a border on so many things because if you like the border, then it's there, right? But if you don't want the border, then you can just cut it off. And that way I'm hoping to sort of be able to accommodate as many um, preferences as I can. Okay, is that where we were? Yes, blue eyes. Okay, again. And these, this is cardstock as well. So all of the longer 6 by 12 sheets are cardstock. I stuck in some uh, vintage playing cards of the Siamese. Again, it's rare to find uh, playing cards with Siamese cats, or at least that's been my, my experience. Again, the number nine, nine lives. And then we've got that pretty paper again, but this time it's on cardstock. And we've got a cute tag here. Siamese cat. There are a lot of S's and a lot of C's in these journals, as well as nines. So a nice big, great big tag here, journal spot, and an inch and a half 
K for kitty. Fussy cut and tag here where I just, again, <laughs> I was gluing away happily. Siamese, a little tiny bit of layering on the back of this. Again, I love the blue graph color um, with this, uh, what looks like an oil painting here. So this, this is the, there was maybe three places I think where I glued things in and this is one of them. So I did this in the other cat journal too because uh, I thought it was so fun. So this is a tuck spot here and then what I have underneath the plant and anybody who lives, who has lived with cats and plants <laughs> knows how this goes, right? So we've got the kitty cat here looking like I don't know what happened. I'm so confused. And then the tag says, I have no idea what happened. Because <laughs> that's what they always tell you. I don't know how the plant landed on the floor. It was like the hand of God itself came out of the sky <laughs> and pushed the plant over. I had nothing to do with it, Mummy. Honest. Mm-hmm. Oh, boy. Stella. The girls aren't so bad, but Stella was f always pushing plants on the floor, I have to say. Okay, then on this side, we've got some really nice brown, like wallpaper, cardstock, and a tag here, and another number nine that just gets tucked in there. Um, this is a, a page of quite a, a lovely thin, almost, it's not tissue, but it, it's almost like tissue, um, from a periodic table thing from chemistry of chemistry from chemistry I'm not sure <laughs> a big book of letters and numbers that I will never understand how about that okay so as we're coming up to the middle um, we have a butterfly tag here and I put in the butterfly because um, Sophie loves to play with butterflies you know those little white ones that you see everywhere in the summer and they I just sort of, f f you know, dance around. And the first time I saw her do it, I thought my heart would explode from cuteness overload. And she just was like up on her back legs trying to, you know, I don't know what she was trying to do, but it was the sweetest thing. I like to think she's trying to play with the butterfly and not eat the butterfly. But cats and butterflies do actually go together. So I thought I would tuck that in there. And then, of course, as everyone knows, what a cat loves, <laughs> one of the things they love the most is an empty box, an empty cardboard box. So that's what's in the middle. So we have a cardstock C. Again, another English-French dictionary page with a mousy. Then we've got this lovely lady here in her beautiful dress with her big, big whiskers. And a letter S. I love, I love this plaid with the beige and the little bit of brown poking up here. Just think it looks great. Whiskers. Yes, look at these two. And they're big whiskers. Again, lots of great, great hidden journaling. And then on this side, I don't really know why I had to put the numbers. This just looked too bare to me. And I kept going back and forth, and finally I was just like, oh. <laughs> it's not, obviously, there's no kitty cats on it. But it's the right color color combination. So that got stuck tucked in there. Talk about regal. Woo! And then just more lined paper. Just a little sheet out of an, an old notebook. Because, again, it had the beige lines on it. And I loved the sort of contrast of the, the muted beige lines with the, the blue polka dots. And then another kitty cat tag. More tuna. <laughs> Just in case anybody was worried that they might run out. We've got an extra can. And again, with the same theme about living with cats... And their antics and their obsessive need to push things off of things and onto the floor. So I couldn't resist 
with the sort of glaring eyeballs here. And then what I have underneath is a table and a pot. Because we know how this is going to go, right? So I thought that would be fun. This is one of the other, th one of the few things I did glue in. Um, <coughs> everything goes smash with a cat. I'm telling you. And again, I love the contrast of all these different blues and the turquoise here on the the beigey brown grid um, scrapbook paper. And then on this side, we have this giant tag with a, for a ton of journaling on there, or gluing, or making a little collage. And a house is not a home without a cat. Well, amen to that. Amen to that. And then this, I just left blank on the back. As hard as it was for me not to put something on there. <laughs> um, rock, paper, scissors, how cute is that? So that's just a little fussy cut. And again, on this side, some paper. This is quite thick, actually. This is, uh, I think this came out of an old um, autograph book. And then S for you know what. And then here on this page, again, cardstock, we've got, this was... This was the one of the last things I did glue in, was this little piece here to tuck this in underneath. And then we have the mice a wraparound page here. And then I just sort of tuck that up underneath the kitty there. She get and her little fish get tucked in there. I like to think they're BFFs. <laughs> They're friends. It's all good. Everybody's fine. Everybody's safe. And then we've got, obviously, the tail end of the tuna. And we're coming up near the end. So that's cardstock there. And then here we have just a teeny tiny little mouse um, with some polka dots. Again, I love the contrast of this bright blue and then the little, the soft fuzzy brown colors in the little mouse's uh, fur there. And a pocket, I did glue this pocket in. Um, we've got some more of that lined paper with the brown lines. Graph paper, because you can never have too much. And again, another sort of uh, vintage wallpaper print. Cardstock, a little list. And, of course, Meow. Cardstock there. And here we go. So here's another one of these nice sort of... Um... Now, in each journal, this might be a little bit different, but I, I kept them as similar as I could. So if this one's like blue background, um, with the black faces, it's the same in the other journals, even if it's not the exact same print, right? So that just gets wrapped around there. And then we have two little fussy cuts um, for you to use as tabs or to just hold pages down or whatever your imagination can come up with, right? While the cat's away, I'm <laughs> just saying, right? And then the hearts, of course, because we love Siamese. And then here's one of those other uh, book uh, pages. I got this on Amazon, actually. Super cute, super cute. So there's three of these pages um, in these journals. And then S for the obvious. And then a little fussy or a little tab here of a Siamese kitty in a coat. <laughs> How cute is she? All fluffed up. I imagined, I was thinking, oh, she's just had a bath. You know how you see those videos on Instagram 
where somebody gives their cat a bath, which I can never figure out because if I even tried to put my two near water, I would not live to tell about it. But they wash their kitties and then they get them underneath the hair dryer and then they, they puff them up like little Siamese cotton balls. <laughs> so that's what, that's what I, I was like, that's super cute. That's what made me think of it. And then, yeah, we really are near the end. Okay, so cardstock here with some kitties. How beautiful. With her diamonds. Oops, sorry. And her flowers. Mm -hmm. So then this is a wrap around here as well. On the other side of this amazing polka dot paper. So we've got the cat hair is part of the decor. Absolutely. A house is not a home without a cat. So that got wrapped around there. And I tuck this down like this. And then cute. With her big blue eyes like that and then on this side I have another one of these cutie patootie here cardstock more cardstock cardstock regular paper cardstock I didn't really put anything in the in the back here because um, it didn't make sense to me to, like, you know, I liked putting things together like this. So you sort of, I don't know, it's it's just more inspiring. I thought to put things together almost in sort of, like, collections and then just left the back. I mean, obviously, when whoever gets these, they're going to take it apart and, and make it all their own. So, And then at the back, what I like to do is... Um, Put the pom-poms on a, a giant tag so that if you like the, which I do, if you like the look of the pom-poms sticking out from the underneath the back of the journal, then you have that look. But if for some reason when you're working in the journal, if you don't, you know, you, you find the pom-poms cumbersome or in the way, then of course you can just take that out do whatever it is you need to do, and then you can tuck your tag back in at the very back. And then you still have the look of the pom-poms. As well as, if you like the pom-poms, but you don't like them at the back, then this gives you some flexibility. So you could have the pom-poms in the middle. You could, you know, have the pom-poms right at the front for whatever reason, if you wanted to. So again, this was just sort of my philosophy about trying to make these journals and all of my journals for that matter make them with a certain amount of flexibility for you because we're not all the same in how we approach what we want from our journals and why so i love this paper i'm not normally into browns i have to say but this these sort of almost mustardy colors really there's something about the contrast with these blues. Well, hello there. Are you coming to say hello during the, the, oh, you're having a snack. Yes, would you like to come and say hi? Would you like to come over and say hello, Sophie? Yeah. You don't need your collar on now that you're inside for the day, so let's take this off. There. Yeah. You want to say hi? Yeah. Tell everybody what happened today, that there was that orange cat sitting on your front porch. The audacity. <laughs> the absolute audacity of somebody else to sit on your front porch. Let me tell you, there was some yelling and screaming. Miss Sophie was not, was not having it. Hey. No. Oh. They didn't even ask to sit on your front porch. <laughs> oh my goodness. She, she's, Sophie is, makes no bones about how she feels about certain things, I have to say. So when I heard all the commotion, I would have thought that somebody was dying. But no, it was just her sitting on the porch yelling at the other cat. <laughs> uh, okay, everybody. Um, that, that is... 
the Siamese Cat Journal flip through um, with the limited color con combinations. Oh, no, please, no, no. <laughs> I know you feel a certain kinship to this, but I don't think you should sit on it. So we have that, the one, and of course the back. I just left the back blank so that you can, again, you can customize it. Maybe you have a Siamese cat of your own and you would like to put pictures of your kitties here or whatever, right? So these will be listed on my website and of course on my Etsy shop. And okay, so we've got just, just as we round off the video, there's that cover. And of course we have the elastic closure. So that gives you room um, as it gets bigger and bigger, hopefully, as you stick more and more stuff in it. Yeah, I'm really, I'm really happy with these. At first I wasn't sure, like I said, I wasn't sure how I would feel about working with such a uh, quote-unquote limited uh, color palette. Because usually I, I, I find that if I give myself a certain restriction, it it kind of throws me off kilter a little bit, but this this was this was a lot of fun. Now before I forget, I do want to show you very quickly the digitals that I made. Um, these are available on my website and also in my Etsy shop as well. There are five files to download and print out. 42, 43 images, I believe, are included in this digital pack. And of course, I always recommend, you know, for tags, you've got to use cardstock. Um, I really like, this is on a, a 65 pound cardstock. 80 pound will work really well too. Just have to make sure that your printer is willing, <laughs> is willing to accept 80 pounds. Some, some printers get kind of weird. Um, they get a little bit angry if the paper is too thick. So it's always good to test these things out. Or before you buy a printer, you know, check the reviews. I always say check the reviews about what other people say about uh, how the printer likes thicker cardstock. Anyways, so you might not be in the market for a Siamese Cat journal, but you might want to use some fun... Uh, digitals for your tags and your art and all that kind of thing so there's that and the other thing is I did print out some uh, very uh, I was gonna say very very manual <laughs> some um, a very simple uh, can opener because after I said it earlier in the video I realized we really need to have a can opener in a in a journal that's about cats right so I think that's it. I think that's everything. Thank you very much, everyone, for hanging out and spending some time with me. If you like this video, please do me a favor and give it a thumbs up because it really does help YouTube to know who to show the video to. Um, if you have any questions, by all means, leave them in the description box down below. So at the end of every video, I always say, please speak kindly to yourselves. Enjoy your journal process. And until the next video, take care, everybody, and I will talk to you soon. Mwah. Have a great day.